Hi, this is Shadi. Today's story is quite interesting. It's very serious, yet there is some humor in it. So I've talked about this maybe three or four years ago, and uh, I believe it's time to say it again for the growing audience. And it's a story that comes from his book, My Judo. So a lot of stories are quite interesting regarding Masahiko Kimura, not only his competitive fights, but also um, his life where he went to the army. He also had a fight with the uh, occupying forces later after Japan lost the war, and now stories when he was in middle school. So the first story is against a boy called Ida. So what happened was Kimura was in his second year of middle school, and there was a fight to decide who would be the captain of the judo team and Kimura won and so Ida did not like it and one day uh, Ida came up to Kimura and said to him I have some unfinished uh, business with you and there he tries to stab Kimura so he thrusts uh, directly and Kimura tries to evade to the side by turning his hips and so what happened was he was stabbed in the buttocks and Kimura fought with him, grab, tried to grab the arm etc but Ida ran away and Kimura chased him down all the way to his house where Ida took refuge and closed the door and stayed inside and Kimura wanted to actually wait for him and so his parents come out and tell him when there was a scuffle as he was trying to let to let him go he actually cut his own uh, hand so Kimura after running after him with a stabbed buttocks apparently Ida injured himself and they said to him that there's a doctor on his way now and he is in his room and he's actually not doing well to be honest these are terrible parents because the boy after losing the fight the only way he thought that he would actually make sense of the situation rather than beating Kimura again he wanted to stab him a middle school child attempted to do that so luckily it was Kimura and not someone else and the funny part is that when Kimura actually got injured and or stabbed the wound was so serious the but yet he came back to training 20 days later according to him so imagine getting stabbed less than three weeks later you're on the mat training again so uh, there's a lot of Chuck Norris memes but I really wish they were Kimura memes to be honest now the next story is a bit more serious and the man is referred to as K in the book so apparently Kimura wanted to keep him anonymous and this man was not a street fighter he was also a teenager just like Kimura I believe he was still in middle school and Kimura at the time was a champion of course everyone knew him in town and so K crossed him at the bridge and he wanted to fight him and so uh, he took out the knife and tried to stab him and Kimura fought him and took him down and so K out loud said, okay, you are good, you are better, and I surrender. And uh, that obviously was a big deal because that man, not only he was a very vicious and experienced uh, street fighter, but also had very good knife skills. And after that, uh, his family did not come after Kimura because K. Uh, would do this mob uh, ambush or this mob mentality that he and his family had that he would tell his family and they would come after whoever tried to beat him so K apparently did not tell his family and basically maybe ashamed of his defeat um, whatever it was but these stories are quite literally insane you have middle school children you know, settling uh, accounts by stabbing and going on these uh, rampages now keep in mind this was the 1930s I would imagine that generation was 
Fartoffer and also the World War Generation 1 and 2. So it's it's really insane how far we've come. And I do imagine this still happens in some places, of course, but uh, to, to say that you don't need any training is uh, insane or nothing will work. It's really about that mentality and actually putting yourself in these stressful situations. I'm sure Kimura did not do a lot of knife fighting. I would imagine there was self-defense training in his generation, the kata and the drills prior to the Olympics. But uh, here you are, the stress of sparring and the stress of randori is what actually really molds you into a better fighter. To know that there is a solution to something and to actually go after it is actually what makes you know training worthwhile all you need is resistance and constant resistance and that will make you far more equipped to handle a situation or to be uh, in control of that uh, situation so i don't want to go uh, too long about this but i'm sure you see the benefits of sparring and training and also being physically and also mentally uh, strong so if you have anything to add please let me know down below. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.